An EV battery can cost more than $10,000 to replace, but most drivers are slowly breaking their battery without even realizing it. The way you charge, the way you park, even the settings you leave on, all of these silent mistakes are cutting years off your battery's life. In this video, we'll show 8 habits every EV driver should avoid if they want to optimize their battery life. Habit number 8. Fast charging too often. When you see those big roadside chargers, it feels like a blessing. You just need to plug in, grab a coffee, and in less than half an hour, your car goes from nearly empty to around 80%. For busy drivers, this is pretty much a lifesaver. But here's the hidden cost. Every time you connect that much electricity to the battery pack, the cells are forced to handle extreme stress. The rapid flow of power also creates a surge of heat inside the pack, and no matter how advanced the cooling system is, that heat definitely takes a toll on the battery. Over months and years, those constant hot-cold cycles slowly kill your battery. The result is your car possibly looking fine on the outside, but the battery inside is already losing strength. Studies and long-term fleet data show that frequent DC fast charging can shrink usable battery capacity by 20-30% to 30 faster compared to slower charging methods. That translates to shorter range, more charging stops, and thousands of dollars off the long-term value of your car. That's why automakers themselves strongly advise moderation. They designed the tech for road trips and emergencies, not for daily charging. So save the DC fast charging sessions for when you're traveling long distances and stick with slower level 2 charging at home or work for your everyday needs. By making that small change, you're protecting the most expensive part of your EV. Years from now, when your car still has solid range while others are suffering early battery decline, you'll be glad you fixed this habit. Habit number 7. Letting battery sit at 100% too long. On the surface, it feels smart. You think you're maximizing range and getting the most out of your car, but here's what really happens. When a lithium-ion battery is kept at maximum voltage, the internal chemistry is under extreme stress. The cathode materials begin to break down faster, which permanently reduces how much charge the battery can hold. In other words, that full bar at the start slowly becomes less and less over the years, and you'll notice your range shrinking sooner than it should. This isn't just theory either. Manufacturers like Tesla, Hyundai, and others specifically tell drivers not to keep their cars at 100% every day. Tesla even has built-in options in the app that let you set a charging limit because they know it makes a huge difference in long-term health. So the rule of thumb from most automakers is pretty clear. For daily driving, keep your battery between about 20 and 80 or 90%. That way, you're avoiding the high voltage stress zone while still having plenty of range for normal trips. So use the charge limit settings on your car or your home charger so it stops at around 80 or 90% unless you've got a long road trip planned. This single habit can add years of healthy life to your battery and save you thousands of dollars in early replacement costs. Habit number 6. Letting battery sit at 0% or very low. It might seem harmless to drive until the dash is flashing low battery, but that kind of deep discharge puts a lot of strain on the cells. When a lithium-ion battery is drained too far, the chemistry inside can cause something called lithium plating which permanently reduce capacity. That means even if you recharge, the battery will never fully bounce back, and over time, your total range keeps shrinking faster than it should. To make matters worse, most automakers are clear that battery warranties won't cover damage caused by repeated deep discharges. So if your pack is ruined, the repair bill comes straight out of your pocket. The simple fix is to avoid letting your battery sit near zero. For everyday use, try to keep it in the healthy zone between 20 and 80%. This gives you plenty of range for normal trips while protecting your battery from long-term damage. It might seem like a small change of habit, but it can save you years of battery life and thousands of dollars. Habit number 5. Extreme Heat Exposure It's so common and so bad that high temperatures are literally the number one cause of lithium cell failure, and once the damage is done, it can't be reversed. When a battery pack is exposed to hot weather for too long, the cells start to degrade at a much faster rate. The electrolyte inside breaks down, the battery chemistry becomes unstable, and your usable capacity drops sooner than you'd expect. This problem has been seen clearly with early Nissan Leafs in hot states like Arizona and Texas, where cars 
that had no active cooling systems lost a huge chunk of their range within just a few years. Modern EVs often include liquid cooling systems, but that doesn't make them immune. Parking outside in direct sunlight day after day still pushes the battery into stress mode, especially when the cabin heats up and the cooling system has to work overtime. The best way to protect your pack is simple. Park in shaded areas or inside a garage whenever you can, and if you live in a very hot climate, avoid leaving the car plugged in at 100% under those conditions. Habit number 4. Extreme Cold Without Preconditioning when a lithium-ion battery gets too cold, the internal reactions slow down, and if you try to charge it in that state, something called lithium plating can happen. This is where metallic lithium builds up on the anode, and once that occurs, the battery permanently loses some of its capacity. That means even after the car warms up, the damage is already done. Automakers like Tesla know how serious this risk is, which is why their cars sometimes won't even allow charging until the pack reaches a safe temperature. In fact, Tesla and other EVs include built-in preconditioning systems for exactly this reason. Preconditioning warms up the battery before charging so the cells stay in a safe zone and can take in energy without damage. So if you live in a cold climate, make sure you turn on battery preconditioning before plugging in. Especially in the winter, it might feel like an extra step, but it protects your pack, keeps charging speeds faster, and prevents the kind of permanent loss that shows up years later as missing range. Habit number 3. Excessive Preconditioning and Thermal Cycling It's a great feature when used the right way. It warms or cools your battery before charging so the pack can take in energy more safely and efficiently. That's exactly what you want in winter when it's freezing outside or on a road trip when you're heading to a DC fast charger. In those cases, preconditioning protects your battery and even speeds up charging. But here's the hidden problem. Every time preconditioning runs, pumps, fans, and heaters inside the car are working hard to shift the battery temperature. If you let it kick in every single day, even when the weather is mild or you're just charging at home, you're forcing the system to cycle more than necessary. That constant thermal cycling burns extra energy, adds unnecessary charge cycles, and puts extra wear on the supporting hardware that keeps your battery healthy. Over the years, that can mean a little less range in the possibility of costly repairs if cooling or heating components wear out sooner. Automakers don't usually highlight this downside because the feature sounds convenient. But just like exercise, too many unnecessary workouts slowly add stress. The smart move is simple. Save preconditioning for when it's really needed, in very cold or hot weather, or before a fast charge. Using it wisely protects both your battery and the systems that support it, helping your EV stay reliable for years longer. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. Habit number 2. Charging to 100% every day This isn't the same as just leaving your car at 100%. It's about the constant topping up. Every time you plug in overnight and push the battery back to full, you're exposing it to high-voltage stress again and again. Over months and years, that repeated strain shrinks the usable capacity of the battery, meaning the range you once had when the car was new just isn't there anymore. Practically all automakers know this is a real issue, which is why many modern EVs now include built-in charge limiters and even recommend drivers use them for daily charging. Tesla, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and others all tell owners to stay around 80 or 90% for normal use. The 100% charge is really meant for long trips where you need the absolute maximum range, not for your everyday commute or errands. So keep in mind that the best habit is to set your car or charger to stop short of full unless you've got a road trip planned. That one small adjustment makes a big difference in how long your battery stays healthy and helps you avoid losing miles of range sooner than expected. Habit number 1. Ignoring Battery Cooling System Maintenance Just like an engine needs oil circulation to keep from overheating, your EV's battery relies on pumps, fans, and electronic contactors to regulate its temperature. If any of those parts fail, the battery can get too hot, cells can wear out faster, and in the worst cases, it can even trigger a recall. We've already seen this happen with cars like the Chevy Bolt and Ford Mach-E, where cooling system and battery software issues force thousands of owners back to the dealer. 
The good news though is that most of these problems can be avoided by simply keeping up with software updates and scheduled maintenance checks. Automakers release updates specifically to fix small glitches before they become big, expensive failures, but they only work if you actually install them. So we'll suggest that you try to remember not to skip those reminders. A quick service visit or update can literally save you thousands down the road by keeping your cooling system working and your battery safe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.